Hi folks, this is Vardhan from Adoreka. Today you will learn to install Hive on your single node Hadoop cluster. In case you haven't set up Hadoop and Pig already, please watch the previous videos in this playlist. First, let's download the Hive package from the internet and since it's free, we can just download it from Apache's website. So I'm just going to download Hive from here. Download a release now. And guys, you can download this Hive 1.2.1 version. This is about 100 MB. I have already downloaded this and let me show you where it is present in my local file system. So the Apache Hive tar file you see here, right? This is the package I downloaded. Now we need to extract the contents from this tar file and we can just do it by running a command from the terminal. And the command is tar hyphen xvf and file name. Now that my package is untarred, we need to follow three steps to set up Hive. The first of them is we need to update the environment variables in the .bashrc file with Hive's path. So second is we need to create a Hive directory in the Hadoop file system. And finally, update the path of Hadoop in Hive's configuration file. Let's get started with updating the environment variables in the bashrc file. We have to first go to our home directory. Now run the gedit.bashrc command. And we have to set the path of Hive here. So I have it here with me. I copy it and let me paste it here. This just indicates the path where my Hive has been installed. And there's a bin folder inside my Hive directory, which is here. Now I have to save this and I'm going to close this. Now I need to source this .bashrc file so that it gets synced. So the command is source.bashrc okay now that I've updated the environment variables I have to next create a hive directory in my Hadoop file system I'm right now in my local file system and to go to my Hadoop file system I give this command Hadoop fs make directory hyphen p and the path Now what this command is going to do is, it's going to create a Hive folder inside which there's going to be a warehouse folder in my user folder. So this user is a default folder in my Hadoop file system. This Hadoop FS indicates that this path is going to get created in my Hadoop file system. So let's give enter. Okay, now that's created. We have to now update the permissions for this directory and to update the permissions we give the command Hadoop fs hyphen chmod g plus w and then the path What this does is the path user slash hive slash warehouse in my Hadoop file system gets the right command. G here stands for the group. So it's going to give the right command to this group here. Okay. Now that we've updated the permissions for this, we have to also update the permission for the TMP file. Okay. And the command is Hadoop FS hyphen ch mod g plus w slash tmp the final step is we need to update the path of hadoop in hive's configuration file we have to first go to our home directory and go to our hive folder in here let's list down the contents and we have a bin folder here okay let's go to this bin folder and if you can see here, there's a configuration file hive-config.sh. This needs to be updated with Hadoop's path. So for that purpose, we need to run a gedit command hive-config.sh and my path of Hadoop is here. I'm going to copy it. 
and paste it right here. It indicates Hive where Hadoop is installed. Okay, now I'm going to save this and close. We can now run Hive by just typing Hive from our Hive directory. So I'm going to go one path back. Now the command is HIVE. This will open the Hive shell. As you can see, we are in the Hive shell, which means that we have successfully configured Hive in our Hadoop cluster. Thank you for watching the video. To learn how Hedgebase is installed in your single node Hadoop cluster, watch the next video in this playlist. Do subscribe to our Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!